Welcome to Your Parents Attic. I'm Glenn. I'm Greg. And today's episode isn't about a product or a show or a movie or a person. Per se. It is going to be about our first computer that we uh, got to play with, experience, and it's an interesting topic because Greg... Your computer was a PC, correct? I was a PC. And mine was an Apple Macintosh LC3. What was the brand and model for yours? AST Advantage. Jesus. Yeah. What? Right. I know. I, I, I was like, what the hell did my parents buy? And then I think I watched a... I think the Indians were playing the Tigers, and this was probably like 1995. Uh, and there was... Or it might have been the Blue Jays. It was somewhere north of of Cleveland, but still somewhere around the Great Lakes. And uh, there was AST signs all yep. over the stadium. And I went, oh, somebody knows who that is. I do know it had an AMD K62 processor, oh. which I still kind of don't know what the hell that means. Uh, so Macintosh LC3 was my first really home computer for the sure. family. Uh, we got that mid-90s. Okay. Little fact. My father still uses that computer today. <laughs> Word processing is very easy on there. He is used to it. He's not used to the PC, you know, uh, office on the PC that I got him. But the LC3, Claris works. Works I very, very you're well. You're going to say EC3. No. <laughs> on the LC3, works very, very well. Right. And he still uses it. It still works. Can you print from it? Yes, he has. We have a printer still, the Apple Jeez. Apple printer. And you I can get I, cartridges. I yeah, you can still order. I think cartridges, yeah, still still out there. Are you refill them with the ink sur- syringe? I, I imagine. But oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, he still he still uses it, and it's still working functionally. And I tell him like my phone can probably hold a thousand of these yeah. LC three because they didn't hold a lot of memory Mm-mm. at all. So the LC three, I got you know when I was probably ten <laughs> years old, eleven years old. Which was a copy off the LC3 that we had in our computer labs at school. Sure. In Aurora, they had ma- a- apples, so we wanted to, you know, have that continuality at home, using it at school, and then using it at home. And I thought the price up for this thing was around thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So my parents paid about thirteen hundred dollars for this Macintosh LC3, and now you can get a desktop for a few hundred bucks, unless it's an Apple, in which case it's like thirteen hundred bucks. <laughs> but it's a functional PC, you can get. You know, oh, yeah, for a few hundred bucks. So I remember using it for school, obviously, for AOL, which we talked about in the early episode. And then games like Hardball 2, oh, um, man. simulation games, tech simulator for be- baseball and basketball and what pro wrestling. You would what put two wrestlers in. They would put their moves in. And I would write down the results. I would actually script out whole wrestling shows. Sure. And the results would factor off the computer. So, and obviously, we're in the world of Carmen San Diego. Yeah. You learn spell uh, Spellbinder, which was a typing game, and obviously the internet with AOL and you know on there. But dude, I, I didn't uh, I didn't play any of that crap. What was you? What did you play on? Doom, man? Doom, okay, Doom, Quake. Oh yeah, yeah. I I just shot stuff. <laughs> uh, I didn't have the internet. We didn't have the internet until I, I think we probably got our first computer in like '94, maybe. Uh, I spent a lot of time playing Solitaire and Minesweeper, which I still have no idea how the hell that game works because I don't think I've ever pinball? finished it. Nope. No. Didn't have that. Uh, and listening to Tom Petty's Wildflowers on the onboard CD player because I was like, I can listen to music and play Solitaire. Yeah. Technology is rad. <laughs> we uh, So my the Macintosh LC3 was a... Floppy only, you know, uh, okay. sure. computer. And obviously I have the capabilities for a to be attached, but floppies only. So I would go to school, and it was easy to rip games. So any of the games at, at school or typing programs or any of the educational stuff at school. Has the statute of limitations expired on what <laughs> you're about to talk about? Ago, 20, <laughs> 25 years ago. Um, so I would just copy. It was right-click, copy. <laughs> Paste it to your disk, your floppy, Jeez. it fits, and you can fit like two, three programs on one single floppy, take it home, all you do is pop it in, drag it to your desktop, and it would open 
as a regular app like on your LC3. So I would do that for every single like game <laughs> off of that. Thank I you, was, Aurora City Schools. <laughs> I was, so I was burning stuff before it was cool to burn. I was just ripping everything. But Just don't say fire. Yeah, no fire. But I, yeah, so I was doing that. And I remember like MIDIs. MIDI, yeah, MIDI files. MIDI files. Yeah, you'd get like, they'd be like, oh, dude, it's Metallica's <laughs> Black Album, but it's in MIDI form. And you'd play it. And for like the first 10 seconds, you'd be like, this is cool, yeah. man. And then you just go, wait, this is awful. This is really bad. And then you, there'd be like six different. See, I was, I was really into Nine Inch Nails. So there was like 30 different people that were like, I did head like a hole in MIDI. And. <laughs> They were all just horrendous. But that's all we had because MP3s didn't even exist yet. So so at school, you had internet. So yeah. I was able to download stuff off. It would take the whole period, but I was able to download one song in MIDI format. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And put it to, to put the floppy disk. You know what that one song was? What? Pump up the value. <laughs> Pump up the- you really were just a sports dork. <laughs> That was he was assembling song. a MIDI version of Jock Jams on his computer <laughs> that at home. That was the one song that I had, and I would play it over and over, and my dad loved it, so I just kept playing over and over on my I LC3. I just imagine the piano stab. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Pump up the value. Oh, it was great. Oh, Mars, I remember, um, you were the best. There was a computer R-R-S. called Christmas Lights, which during the holidays... It would decorate your desktop with Christmas lights and play Christmas music while you were on your computer. And also, if you were <laughs> using your computer for like five minutes, it would snow. <laughs> and it would accumulate at the bottom of your screen. Maybe the terrorists are right. <laughs> it's great. Christmas lights. Oh, Maybe the great. hackers are, are onto something good. I oh. want to keep that from coming back. All these programs are just... Coming into my mind, the basketball simulation game was like my favorite. Why wouldn't it be? Because just your simulation of the games, and I would, <laughs> I would write them the box scores and write an article about dork. it. Dork, I loved it. And the wrestling one was great. The baseball ones, I just did the wrestling it. one have real wrestlers. Uh, Could yes. you enter who it was? Yeah, because I would download off offline like their, their 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 values for certain moves and whatnot, <sighs> and then they would you know text simulation every couple seconds it would say oh the rock ddt steve austin and then it would give another thing it would keep going and going until there was a winner uh also i don't know that i can sigh (laughs) enough to accurately (laughs) react to this because at least like i was uh, maybe i was just the maybe you're cool you're doing cool things with doing cool stuff with cool people you're doing doom but you got a pc i feel like pc you were able to do maybe more than a mac yeah because on Mac stuff, or Mac, you just did nerd stuff. This is the nerd stuff. This is a really bitchin' spreadsheet program, guys. <laughs> Dude, all right, I love spreadsheets. You, I, I would make pie it's charts t- all like, day. I've almost dropped F-bombs, I think, six times after you finished a sentence at this point. Uh, oh, wow. Players work I, spreadsheets. You know what I would do? This is great. I feel you like the coolest I teen- Like I was the coolest teenager in the world You right want to know now. what I did? I would get a spreadsheet, okay, uh-huh, yeah. and I would look at the uh, basketball scores from the night, night before on the uh, in the playing dealer, and I would mix match the matchups. Uh huh. Like the Cavs were yeah. played the the Bulls. The yeah. Cavs won ninety to eighty nine, but the Cavs would really play the Lakers, and the Lakers scored a hundred points. So in reality, the Cavs lost, and I would keep the scores tallied every day. I would do that and keep standings in my alternate. <laughs> Basketball Are we going to do an episode about like the first time we kissed a girl? It happened in the 2000s. So I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was coming. Yeah. Oh, Glenn, I'm sorry. This is. This I'm is, talking to. I'm talking to teenage you. I'm sorry. You know you, what? You, you now. You're no. You know what else I would do? Teenage you. I'm sorry. So I have two younger sisters. Oh God. And here we're we all go. pretty much the same age. They're two years younger than me. Three years younger than me. So you got to program that would design my little ponies no we would play you guys school. would have competitions we will play school oh for god's sake <laughs> and we, I, I had a i copied the the grade program off of the oh i want to stand myself in the face and i would do we, we do homework assignments for fun oh i'm so <laughs> and I would, I would put grades in <laughs> i can't even think of 
how to say what I want to say right now. And then I would print off like the grades, and they would have to get them signed by our parents. Is there a thing worse than douche chills? <laughs> Is there? So, I don't know. I don't so know. So my parents would have to sign off on our fake school progress reports. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with oh. bullying right now. You're, everybody's oh learning how much god. of a nerd I was. Oh my god! I think I'm learning. This is cool to me, but oh, I'm, is this therapy for you? Because I feel I'm like just, this is this is oh, was not Glenn. cool. Again, you uh, know what? You're doing wonders for me because I'm just sitting here going, "All right, man. Yeah, I didn't do any of that stuff. This is great." I thought I was edgy by listening to Tom Petty's Wildflowers album. We got <sighs> oh, good lord! I would download some midis. Yeah, pump up the volume. Oh, you know what I would do? Oh, God, I don't no, want to No, no, this is cool. Oh, okay. That's, not, re- I would that's down- not reassuring. There was a website that had, like, wrestling catchphrases, uh-huh. like really small uh, wave files. Oh, okay, sure. So I would download those, and I would play them over over and over again. I'm sure you did. Like Hulk Hogan, endlessly. Stone Cold, The Rock. That's how you ended, the, that's how you ended a period in school. You know, let me tell you something, brother. And that's the bottom oh, line. Oh, 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 it's time for English class. Oh, homeroom's over. <laughs> oh, God. Is that bad? I mean, I was into that Is kind that of stuff, bad? dude. I was, yes. I mean, spreadsheets and... Te- I mean, I'm sorry I wasn't shooting up things. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you weren't either. I'm sorry I was, you know, making myself intelligent than just... Yeah. Uh, Is that done. what you call it? I'm going to shoot things all night. Yeah. I mean, I was... Yeah, I did. I was furthering and then I went my and party with hot chicks. What's your point? <laughs> I party with hot chicks online. I party with hot chicks rooms. online. In the chat room. Everyone's hot behind a keyboard. <laughs> ASL, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we we really should do an episode at some point of just about chat rooms. Oh, definitely. A lot of chat room stories. Yeah. A lot of chat rooms. In the uh, spreadsheet chat room? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure there were spreadsheet chat rooms, though. He's but, sure because he went to them. But yeah, man, you know... Th- for your first computer, it's you know. Do you still have your first computer? Uh, you know what? It it probably is at my my dad's there. house yeah, still. Yeah, is this behind the basement? In the uh, attic? It is might, it in it, the attic? It might be in the attic. We don't have an attic. Your parents had. Um, no, and the and the weird thing was, uh, I, I've been trying to find a way to make it so that we can talk about the the way the '90s looked at computers. Okay. And the way you know, like hacking came into hacking was in vogue during the 90s and the way that Hollywood would try to show hacking like I'm obsessed with the movie hackers I my brother and I both we I there is legitimately I think on YouTube a full-length commentary that he and I did for the movie hackers because we just find it fascinating uh and at one point and I you know I can say this because you've already set the bar super low as far as being cool during this time period. Listen, man, I was cool. I was convinced that I could be a hacker without having the internet. Okay. You can't. Right. Right. But that was and my brother always used to give me such a hard time about it. We would come up with hacker names. You want to know what else I did? Not really, but I'm sure you're going to tell me, and I'm going to laugh hacking, at it anyway. Speaking of hacking, this is early form hacking without internet. Early form hacking. Good so, Lord. in high school for PCs, all the computers were on the you know one network. Uh huh. So each computer was connected to each other. Uh huh. A lot of the teachers didn't have per- password protected files. Uh huh. So I snuck into the statute of limitations, right? Or we exceeded. This was ninety. 98. Uh-huh. So I <laughs> snuck into the, uh, I think, the history teacher's file, and I stole the last exam of the year, the actual exam, took it, printed it out, and sold it for 50 bucks to everybody. Made about, eh, about 500 bucks, and I got a free sheet pizza anytime I wanted. Given the information you told us earlier in this episode, I do not believe that fact at all. You don't? I don't. Not in the least. I have, I, I can, we can call someone up and they can vouch for me. I can call somebody that said they saw Elvis this afternoon. It doesn't mean it happened. Come on. The, people didn't have passport protected. I was early for my hack. That does sound like that. That does something sound like something that dorky teen Glenn I mean, I, I ripped Mac apps off of computers to take home. So you're one of those bad hackers then. I'm you're, you're one of I those people that get hacked. Yeah, I, know. I didn't get That's caught. That's my point. It was the same as that exam. 
People got A's on it. Nobody suspected a thing. And I left my senior year. Man, big tall man on campus. Now, everybody watch your newspaper a couple days after this episode comes out. Former er, <laughs> Aurora <laughs> High School alumni uh, gets his diploma revoked. <laughs> revoked. <laughs> Taken out of the... Baseball. And is retroactively flunked out of school. <laughs> Taken out of the baseball record book. <laughs> yeah, there you no go. No longer the high, most home runs in school history asterisk next to it because... He's still a test history. Exam. The asterisk is because there was the most home runs in history in a baseball simulation program. It's because he took Oregon Trail <laughs> off of the <laughs> school computers, which I think everybody did anyway. I wish I wish I had Oregon Trail. I love Oregon. Oregon Trail, Trail was a staple game of PCs and Macs everywhere. Yeah. It was the most boring educational. Or it was the most awesome educational game ever. And if you really think back on it, it's really boring. It, it's terribly boring. Yeah. I'm sure there was no play. number munchers or word munchers. Yeah. Maybe we're a cat uh pause. Yeah, I remember pause. Yeah. That cat sucked. What was your what was your highest uh words per minute? Seven hundred and four. Bullshit. You yeah. Were, it's no. because I would just smash my hands on the keyboard <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> like a cat. I keep hitting the space bar. Uh, like a cat. <laughs> like that's a word, 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 that's a word. Yeah. yeah. I think mine was like hundred and forty five. And the teacher and I would compete against he each other. He just would keep typing in butt. <laughs> <laughs> I type but 145, 145 times in a minute. I was a typing nerd. I was a TA of typing. Class. This is not none of this is surprising. <laughs> oh my god! I uh, want to get like I want to go into a time machine and make you give yourself a wedgie back then. <laughs> Sorry, man. I was just that's what I was into. Man. That was what. I enjoyed doing that. I played hardball baseball game on a computer. That was like a legit baseball game. I would input my own roster, real <sighs> rosters. I mean, a baseball game. We, I mean, that was a good game. I think I played. No, I didn't play. No, Doom. no. Uh, there's no way in hell you played Doom. Stop. Not for a Mac. There was no. Was there a Mac version? Yeah. I think I tried it and it was corrupted. No, oh, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't rip that one I right. I, didn't have, I think I missed a, co- a component. Let's talk about how great that was. And I, you probably didn't. Well, you probably had that on Mac. How if you wanted a like the the game of Doom was like twelve megabytes. Yeah, which meant it came on thirteen <laughs> yes. discs, and if and and it was always copied onto the AOL discs. Yeah. So if something would somehow get corrupted because AOL disks were not meant to be written over repeatedly, you'd get to, like, disk 11, and then all of a sudden you'd just hear that... Oh, the, yeah, the, the death sound. Because it would, oh, yeah, no. the, the, the disc would lock up, and you'd be like, I was so close to shooting zombies in the face. Oh. And you couldn't complain to anybody no. because you bootlegged the damn game. So what do you do? <laughs> like, you're just like, all right. I guess we'll try again. And yeah. then you get to disc seven the next time. And yeah. And they were never labeled properly. So you'd always have to just guess. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, okay, this says it's the first disc. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, this, is, this one says AOL on it. Please enter <laughs> disc two. Yeah. Nope. That's not it. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Nope. Oh, this is that half a boob I downloaded at Bob's house two weeks ago. <laughs> yep. Nope. That's not it. The one picture file on the floppy disk. Yeah, the, that's terrific. Yeah, yeah. It was way back in the day. Yeah, so that that's was an AOL callback. You're welcome. Yeah, we did AOL. Go back and listen to our previous AOL uh, show. But yeah, so our first computer, I I used it for nerd tendencies, and you yeah, used you sure it did. for cool things. I did. But to me, I was the coolest kid in the house. Yeah, I can't think of <laughs> the coolest kid in the house. I want to punch myself in the face after hearing that. I don't even want to like. So you wouldn't hang out with me if we were. Oh, I'm sure we would have been like best friends. Because <laughs> you, I would have been like, "Why don't you come over and play Doom?" Yeah, I'd be like okay. I'll bring do you, my, want, I'll do you p- want me to bring my basketball spreadsheet program? <laughs> do you want it? I'll no. rip it for you. No, I don't. I actually didn't download the PC version. I can give it to you. I'm sure it's an app on the Android <laughs> App Store that has okay. one star for the reviews. Before the show, this game sucks. I have searched the, the internet. For hours trying to find this game, I used to play the basketball simulation game. Uh huh. Cannot find one article about it. You know why? It had Michael Jordan on the cover. You know why? Because it. it sucks. No, it was excellent. 
It was awesome, and I miss it, and I want to play it. We there, there's there is a lonely human being somewhere out on this planet that has it. that goes, man. Nobody remembers that basketball spreadsheet program I made. If I could just like he just <laughs> he goes to sleep every night with a gun in his hand. Oh no! I, I and he's it. like, if if I'll only play, somebody sir. if only somebody would have recognized the the minutes of programming that I had to do for this program. I would have had a fulfilled life. Well, you know, sir, I'm over here, sir, over here. Yeah, I would, I would keep I would yelling and waving. I have a Mac now; I can play it. I can oh my play god, it. I can play it. I would totally play that game, and I would let no. you watch me play. I s- wow. You can call timeout when the team's making a run. You can make subs if you wanted to. You control the team, and have or Michael you can get Jordan. a job at Subway and make <laughs> subs there too. <laughs> so- for real. So I. So what did we learn today? <laughs> that uh, you had a shitty childhood. I, <laughs> absolutely not. I had a great childhood. Oh, you know what I would do? So I had. I, don't, I, don't I had a base, I had a baseball league. Oh God! In my backyard, and I would do stats and write articles and do standings and create people that were supposedly in the baseball league. No, that we weren't actually use, there. We, we would use real players, but <laughs> they, they yeah. just didn't play baseball in his backyard. Yeah. Like Ken Griffey Jr., you know, playing in the backyard, and the stats were blah, he blah, would blah. he would open up his pack his packets of oatmeal and ah. make baselines in his backyard. No, we had we had actual we had actual chalk lines. Yeah, I bet. And then uh, and then he would just he would be the announcer you know at the beginning of it. He'd be like, "Batting first, we w- we would." Jim told me we would. <sighs> we would. And then you would okay. So Jim Tomey's at the plate, and here's the pitch. Yeah. Oh, and he swings and misses. No, he, he hit a home run. Yeah. Yay. No, and then we, you'd jog around the bases pretending that you were Jim Tomey, and then you'd mark a little a hash mark down exactly. there because there was a pitch thrown. We played one-on-one there baseball. Was a, there was a walk-off home mm-hmm. run. We would. <laughs> and uh, you know what I kept all my stats in? Is it really pathetic? A trapper keeper. Yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> On that note, we'll talk to you guys <laughs> next week. Thanks for listening to our nerding out well my end yeah. and how Greg's cool story. I was cool. Picking up chicks on I don't know what happened to me since then, but I was cool yeah. back then. And I, I still do not I do not play these games right now, so please do not think I'm a total nerd now. Please. Please don't. He was playing one of them when I showed up to record. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys next week. Make sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, all the podcast platforms. Leave us a comment, like, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and let us know what you would like us to talk about. And what was your first computer? What was it like? What did you play on it? And did you play any sport simulation games? Because if you did, God damn it. a virtual high five to you. So we'll talk to you guys next week. Oh, my God. I can't even think of something to talk about with a light bulb. Jeez, <sighs> I didn't realize how much of a nerd I was. Oh